Well, currently there's, there's no approved treatment, but there is a sort of standardized approach, which is um, sort of uh, highlighted, highlighted by the KDIGO uh, group. Uh, the idea is again, to try to get an early absolute diagnosis by biopsy and then to risk assess the patients. Um, the evidence of high risk for the disease is really having an elevated creatinine puts patients at high risk, having a substantial amount of proteinuria, uh, mostly defined by more than 1,000 milligrams per day, having high blood pressure. And there's certainly certain characteristics of the kidney biopsy that also defines higher risk patients, such as having more inflammation in the kidney biopsy or more scar. If patients are considered to be at significant risk of progressing to kidney disease, which typically does take years to decades, then uh, treatment will be undertaken. And the treatment's sort of common to most chronic kidney disease, where diet, exercise, weight control is strongly advocated, with the diet focusing on low salt and a slight modification of protein intake. And then vigorous efforts are made to get the blood pressure well controlled down to 120 over 80 or lower, utilizing drugs that block the renin angiotensin system. Uh, beyond that, more specifically, there's no approved drugs for our, uh, immunoglobulin A nephropathy today. There's been a sort of rich history of trials of corticosteroids to control the inflammation in the kidney. And those have been variably successful or failure um, related. And so in different trials, patients sometimes do very well with proteinuria reduction and slowing of kidney function loss over years, and others show no benefits. All the studies show substantial risks of the corticosteroid exposure, which is usually reasonable amounts of steroids for at least a half a year. And so now that we have a little bit better information, nearly one in 10 patients who proceed down that type of therapy will get serious adverse events, uh, mostly infections that can land them in the hospital or worse.